In today's video, I want to tell you a super fast way to get beautiful color on your Panasonic V-Log footage. I recently switched from Sony to the Panasonic Lumix S5 II and have been hunting for the easiest and best looking results to color grade. I also wanted the best method that gives me almost a finished product so I can only make minor adjustments if needed. So if that's what you're looking for, you're in the right place. So I spent weeks of testing. I purchased gamuts, base LUTs for V-Log and also used a free one from Panasonic called the nicest LUT, which can be found directly on the Panasonic website. When I record, I shoot with an exposure of zero. And also I'm definitely not an expert in color grading. So this is the method that's working for me from my own research. And you're welcome to use it if it helps you since there's a million ways to apply color. If you want to follow along, you will need to use DaVinci Resolve. But don't worry, you can download it for free and don't be scared of it, it's not as scary as it looks or sounds. I recently switched from Adobe Premiere and I've been getting a ton better with video editing and even doing better with some basic color grading. The method I discovered and that's giving me the best results is applying the color space transform in DaVinci Resolve. Once you try it out, it only takes a few seconds to apply. So as a first step, let's go to File, Project Settings. For Color Space, choose DaVinci YRGB. And Color and Output Color Space, choose Rec 709 Scene, which is the default by DaVinci, but make sure it's on the settings in case you have made changes. If you want, you can apply the color directly to the first node but if you want to make some further adjustments, I recommend adding a second node. Now let's load some footage and we're going to head to the color section of DaVinci. Here, let's just add one extra node by clicking on our existing node and selecting add node, add serial. Now select the second node and on the top right, select effects. Under Resolve FX Color, let's apply Color Space Transform to the second node. You can just drag it and apply it to that second node. Now under the Color Space Transform, let's select Panasonic V Gamut as the input color space. Panasonic V-Log as the input gamma. And we're gonna use Rec 709 as the output color space and I leave output gamma as use timeline, which will use the Rec 709 scene that we previously selected. Using this method gives me instant beautiful results that allow me to publish without needing to do more changes to the colors. Just look at some of the sample footage so you can judge yourself. Now let's compare some of that footage using the LUTs that I mentioned before and let's compare both of the footages.
You can also get a better final result with LUTs, but you'll have to do more manual corrections. And I prefer the easiest method that gives me almost a finished product with some simple clicks. And applying the color space transfer seems to be the most efficient, fastest way. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it, give it a like so it can spread to other people. It really does help the video and our channel grow a lot. And we love getting your support. So thank you for that. Until next time, Ultratech out.